and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, and up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. The Beverly Hillbilly. but I can't leave until I have someone to take care of the baby. Oh, Ellie will do it. Ellie Mae! This is a big day for your husband, getting a new crop dust and plane. Yes, I know. We're both so grateful to Mr. Clampett for putting up the money. Well, now, don't you forget, Howard Hughes is furnishing the landing pasture. He likes it called Hughes Airport now. Anyhow, Steve and I are grateful to both men. Maybe now Kathy Jo can go to college. At her age. <laughs> My, what a smart young man. What you want, Granny? Betty and me is going over to Hughes Pasture. Airport. Yeah. And will you take care of this little darling whilst we're gone? I sure will. <laughs> the baby, Ellie, the baby. Oh. She is critter happy. She don't know a puppy from a baby. <laughs> oh, they're both cute. I'll get my jacket. Now, you take good care of her. It's dandy training for you, and... Who's that coming down the stairs? That's Jethro. Uh, how do you like my outfit? <laughs> Had to go clean to Riverdale to get it. What's it for? Huh? What's it for? For flying. I'm a pilot now. And quick as we get to the airport, I'll take you for a spin. Jethro, you ain't had your first flying lesson yet. Yeah, I'll have that. And then I'll take you for a spin. <laughs> well, come on. Sam Drucker's waiting to take my picture for his newspaper. Your picture? If he takes anybody's, it'll be Granny's. Her and Sam Drucker's sweetheart. Oh, don't say it, Ellie. Well, it's the truth, ain't it? Yeah, but don't say it. It might get back to Mr. Hughes, and I think he's got eyes for me, too. What were you saying about Mr. Hughes, Granny? Well, I was saying that Sam Drucker and Howard Hughes is both sweet on me. And I don't know which one to favor. Mr. Hughes is married. I think I'm going to favor Sam. <laughs> All right, fellas, now let's get a shot of the three of you in front of the shack. Now, for the front page, uh, Jed, you and Howard be shaking hands. Sam, ain't you making an awful big thing out of this? Well, it is a big thing, Jed. Oil millionaire and land baron get together to start an airline? Well, we're just buying Steve a new crop dusting plane. I am giving him a new hanger. Hey, no kidding, Mr. Hughes? A new hanger? Well, uh, what it is is just an old hay barn, but uh, when you keep a plane in it, that makes it a hanger. <laughs> uh, fellas, settle that later. I'm holding the presses. Now, shake hands and look important. I still say you're trying to make too much out of it. Jed, if it wasn't a big, important deal, would that Beverly Hills banker be flying out here to handle it? He did seem kind of excited when he heard that Mr. Hughes was in on it. <laughs> All right, Howard, let's shake hands and try to look important. <laughs> it's the financial coup of the century. Howard Hughes and Jed Clampett. I'll get a profile shot. <laughs> and I'm handling the whole deal. Okay, that's enough pictures. <laughs> Send those to the Banker's Journal. They can select one for the front page. Let them know I'll be available for personal interviews as soon as I return from Hooterville. Right, Chief. I'll go in and change to my meeting Howard Hughes out there. You have a special outfit just to meet Mr. Hughes? Well, of course, this is much too formal. Oh, meantime, you rehearsed the girls' trio in that song I wrote. Oh, Chief, please, drop the idea of taking the girls' trio. I beg you. Rehearse them. <laughs> Outfit 
that you're going to wear to meet Howard Hughes? Well, he's a casual, informal man. He's going to meet a casual, informal banker. Now, let's hear the girls' trio. Oh, Chief, please. Not that corny song. What do you mean, corny? It's beautiful. I wrote it. Now, let's hear the trio. Girls. Howard Hughes, we love you. Did we do, oh, Howard Hughes? You are our special favorite billionaire. Billionaire. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just great. Now, girls, finish with the turn like you will for Mr. Hughes. <laughs> How crudely commercial. The Commerce Bank of Beverly Hills. B.H. stands for Beautiful Howard. <laughs> well, isn't Mr. Clampett going to feel rather left out? Not at all. I haven't forgotten anyone. <laughs> okay, fellas. Reckon the three of us can push it? Sure, it ain't, fur. Hey, fellas, am I in time? Just in time, Jethro. Grab a hold and commence pushing. I mean, in time for a picture. I'll ask. Hey, Sam. You want a picture of Jethro pushing? No, thanks. <laughs> Come on, boy. Hey, hey, Uncle Jeff. That's an aviator. Aviators don't push planes. We aviate. <laughs> How soon do I get my first lesson, Steve? Just as soon as we get this old crate pushed into the hay barn. And... Ah, hanger. <laughs> and I get the engine back together. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just push it, Jethro. Don't carry it. <laughs> hey, Steve, I see Betty Joe coming. Is it all right with you if I take a couple of cheesecake shots? Yeah, that's fine. You know, that leg art really sells papers, especially in big cities like Pixley and Blue Spring. Yeah, well, it's, it's a final piece of it. I think we're too late, Granny. Oh, no, you're not. You're just in time for a cheesecake picture. What's that? Well, that granny is newspaper talk for having a pretty girl sit on this bench, cross her knees, and show her beautiful legs. Sam, you old rascal. I wouldn't do this for nobody but you. All right, Mr. Parker. Now, I want you to take the truckload of gifts and flowers and champagne and all that stuff directly to the Shady Rest Hotel. We'll ride up there on the train. Girls, let's go into Mr. Drucker's start. Where's Miss Hathaway? Well, she's still in the car. Miss Hathaway, come out of there. Must I? You must. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> Don't be silly. A casual banker has a casual secretary. <laughs> but I look so completely... Feminine. No, 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 you look fine, just as feminine as can be. Come on. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Drucker. Milburn Drysdale. Oh, Mr. Drysdale, how are you? Fine, fine. I, I don't believe I've met this gentleman. <laughs> I am Miss Jane Hathaway. <laughs> oh, oh, Miss Hathaway, I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you. You look so, uh, uh, uh... Feminine? No. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. And these, uh, lovely young ladies are the Commerce Bank's singing secretary. Well, this is a real pleasure. You haven't heard their song. <laughs> oh, say, Mr. Drysdale, you'd be interested in this. I just took it off the press. It's a proof sheet of the extra I'm getting out. See, there's Jed Clampett and Howard Hughes shaking hands on their merger. Girls. Feast your eyes on two of the most beautiful men in the world. Super. Are those two beautiful men? Well, Jed ain't so bad looking, but I sure wouldn't call Howard a beautiful man. Believe me, he's beautiful. Who took this picture? I did. Well, that is a signal honor. Mr. Hughes hardly ever allows his picture to be taken. <laughs> Can you blame him? <laughs> Mr. Ducker, please show some respect. Mr. Hughes is a very important man. Oh, I know that. Say, he and Jed sure did hit it off. Why, them two just met, and already they're closer than two hogs in a mud waller. <laughs> Mr. Ducker, please do not refer to these two men as hogs. They're lions, tigers, monarchs of the financial jungle. 
Okay. I guess I'm just a simple country boy. <laughs> Girls, there's a train to the Shady Rest Hotel. Oh, uh, Mr. Drucker, when we get settled in, I'd like to go over and see the Hughes Airport. I'll bet it's beautiful. Well, if you think Howard's beautiful, you'll likely think his airport is, too. <laughs> see y'all later. Someone put this through the wash and shrunk it. That's a man for you. <laughs> Land sakes, what's all this? It's a token of Sam Drucker's love and affection. Sam splurge for all this? He's crazy, head over heels mad for me, Howie. <laughs> well, I'm out of his mind. <laughs> That's the truth. I bet you're sorry you got a wife. That's the truth, too. <laughs> sure would like to meet your wife, Howie. No, you wouldn't, Jed. That is the nagginest woman that ever lived. She's the reason I got so much land. What do you mean? So as I can hide from her. Well, hi there, everybody. Ellie Mae, where's the baby? In the kitchen with Betty Jo. Oh, Mr. Hughes, your wife was here looking for you. See what I mean, Jed? Well, she says the beavers has dammed up the creek again, and it's commencing to flood the South 40. I'll go with you and help sluice it, Howie. Can I go too, Pa? How about it, Howie? Well, as long as my wife don't see her, that woman is so jealous, it is simple. <gasps> I'll put on my blue jeans and an old hat. Okay, we can use the help. <laughs> I can't get her out of the hangar. Hey! <laughs> Pretty impressive display, huh? Oh, yes. Come on over there. Chief, you must have spent a fortune. Not spent, invested. Have you any idea what the Hughes, Clampett, Elliott Airlines could mushroom into? Is that what you're going to call it? Well, maybe it should be Clampett, Hughes, Elliott. That is a problem. Who's named put first? I've got it. We'll call it Drysdale Airlines. <laughs> well, look who's here. Howdy, girl. Hi, Hi Granny. Granny. Mr. Drysdale and Miss Jane. Hello, Granny. <laughs> Why, you look like you're all dressed to go crawdad hunting. <laughs> oh, Chief, may I please go and change my clothes? Oh, all right. Go ahead. May we go along and freshen up, too? Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sure brought along a slew of secretaries. Well, there'd be lots of paperwork. Uh, by the way, where's Mr. Clampett, Mr. Hughes, and Mr. Elliot? 
Well, Steve is giving Jethro a flying lesson. And Jed and Howard is over to Mr. Hughes' dam. He has his own dam as well as his own airport? <laughs> that goomer has got everything. <laughs> well, howdy, Mr. Drydale. Mr. Clampett, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, and this gentleman can only be the legendary, the immortal, the famous Howard Hughes. Right now, I'm the muddy Howard Hughes. <laughs> working on Howard Dam. Beautiful, beautiful men. That's what you are. Kings of all you survey. But you haven't lost the common touch. Uh, you're just kind of unusual, Mr. Dryden. <laughs> well, I want to show you that I, too, have the common touch. <laughs> I'd like to wear some of mine off. Me too. Oh, Mr. Clampett, if you don't mind, I would like to speak to Mr. Hughes for a moment. I've looked forward to this for such a long time. It's all right with me. It was all right with Howard. <laughs> Mr. Hughes, I can't tell you what a thrill this is meeting a man like you. Don't fool him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a mess. Oh, my sneakers is getting rev all muddy. Oh, I'll clean them for you. <laughs> don't wipe them on yourself. It's an honor to wear your mud. <laughs> if you ain't the most accommodating banker I ever met. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. Oh, here, let me pour you some champagne. <laughs> now, if she gets the croup, you take some possum grease and mix it with cocoon root and rub it on her chest. And for the colic, you boil some jimson weed and add some... Oh, come in, Mrs. Hughes. Where's that no good husband of mine? I still haven't seen him. Oh, Granny, this is Mrs. Howard Hughes. Howdy. Hiya. Are you sure you haven't seen my Howie? Not since this morning. That scoundrel's up to no good. He's never stayed away from home this long before. Maybe he'll be along pretty soon. Why don't you sit down and, and have a cup of coffee and something to eat? Yeah, I'll fix you something. Who can think about food when my husband's out chasing around? What have you got? Well, we've got uh, turkey and, and ham. Maybe I'll have a little bite just to keep up my strength. <laughs> There you are. Be comfortable. Uh, and now a little more champagne. <laughs> oh, Miss Hathaway, girls, come meet the fabulous Howard Hughes. No, 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 no. Don't get up. Don't get up. They're just secretaries. <laughs> and they have a surprise for you. All right, girls, do the song for Mr. Hughes. <laughs> Howard Hughes, we love you. Did we do, oh, Howard Hughes? Extra, extra. Get your Hooterville World Guardian. Hot off the press. Extra. Okay, okay. My singing secretaries are about to serenade Mr. Hughes. All right, girls, start again. Howard Hughes, we love you. Did we do, oh, Howard Hughes? You are our special favorite. Here, buddy. I just had my first flying lesson. How much you call an ace? Just wrong. Yeah. Yeah, Steve said tomorrow he's actually going up in the air. What? <laughs> hey, girls. How would you like me to take you for a moonlight plane ride tonight? Jethro, go wait in the kitchen. And leave these pretty girls. There's food in the kitchen. See you later, girls. <laughs> All right, once again, but let's be a bit more friendly this time. Mr. Hughes is an informal man. All right, good. I don't mean to sit on this side. Back. Over that side, yeah. There, that's better. Are you comfortable, Mr. Hughes? I ain't complaining. <laughs> Miss Hathaway. Howard Hughes, we love you. Did we do a Howard Hughes? You are our special favorite. What's going on in here? <laughs> Who's that old bat? That old bat is Howard's wife. <laughs> Mrs. Hughes, this is a rare treat. Your husband has told me so much about you. I'll get him for that. Oh, uh, permit me to introduce myself. I'm Milburn Drysdale, the Beverly Hills banker. Now, I'm going to handle all... You don't look like no Beverly Hills banker to me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm casually dressed because your husband is a casual dresser. My husband is a slob. <laughs> Steve, Steve. Is your plane running? Yeah, I just got it fixed. Let's go. Where to? Let's try for South America. <laughs> Come back here, you worm! <laughs> 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 
Steve, come after her. Stop her. Are you kidding? The Green Bay Packers couldn't stop her. <laughs> this won't change our plans for the new airline, will it? Well, it's just one little detail. We'll have to call it Hughes Memorial Airport. Memorial? Why? She just caught him. No, Bernard! No! no! <laughs> now, will you look at my extra? Oh, yes, Sam. What's this? Hey, that's great. Great? <laughs> he misspelled Hughes. <laughs> I did not. Howard Hughes, the billionaire, does not spell his name H-E-W-E-S. <laughs> Well, maybe not, but Howard Hughes, a farmer, does. <laughs> Sam, take my picture. Chief, what are you doing? In Miss Hathaway. Send them to the insurance company. Maybe I can recoup some of my losses. <laughs> you want me to shoot you like that? That's an even better idea. Steve. Get him a gun. <laughs> Weeknights on Hallmark. Watch great stories. I'm an angel. And witness the miracles. Touched by an angel. Weeknights at 8 on the Hallmark Channel. Next Rough and Ready Weekend, we're dropping names like they're dropping the hammer. Duvall, Jones, Garner, Basic, Glover, Schroeder, Arquette, Buscemi. The Rough and Ready Weekend, all next weekend, only on Hallmark Channel. <laughs> that makes the papers. Welcome back now. Here's...